Anybody, has anybody gone through that position in that, in that place in your life that as you watched, your dream came to an end? You couldn't believe that it was happening. You said, no, 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 no. This is not happening. But it, it was like you had no strength whatsoever as you watched. The dream slipped away little by little from your hand as you watched helplessly. Your dream, your hope died in your hands. And this is what she does. She was a warrior. She picks up that dream. She picks up that promise from God. She takes it right to the room where she built for the man of God just some time ago. She went to that point of reference that reminded her about God's goodness. She could have taken it to anywhere else. She could have gone to places and said, oh, look, I knew that this prophet was a false prophet. We knew that this guy is not the real deal. Look what he, he's brought death into my heart. She could have gone negative. Instead, she held on to the goodness of the Lord. She went to that place, that bed that she built for the man of God that reminded her about God's goodness and mercy. She placed him there. She came out and she called the servant and said, tell my husband to send me an animal quickly. Send me a donkey quickly so I can go see the man of God. And the, and the husband said, hey, what's happening? Uh, but today is not Sabbath. So today is not full moon. Today is not special festival. Because some people are used to going to the man of God on occasions. Are you following what I'm saying? Some wait for a good occasion to go to the house of God. Good occasion to go to God. If you will continue to go to God when there is no occasion, you will not wait for problems to come for you to go to God. The reason why some people have to rush to the presence of God when the problems come is because you've not been at his feet when the problems were around you. Are you following what I'm saying? That steals your confidence. That steals your courage. You're going to God and you're like, please God, please do it. You're begging and pleading and striving and working hard because you don't have the confidence to go to God. But if you are somebody that goes to God irrespective of whether you have a problem or no problem, if you're used to going to God, when problems come, you will walk in confidently into the presence of God because you know without a shadow of doubt that you're not going to the presence of God to get something done. You're going because you love Him. You're going because you have a relationship with Him. You're going. There is something that you can be confident about that, hey, I'm here because I have the right to be here. This woman, she has a right to go to the man of God because she's invested into the man of God. She's sown into the man of God. She's done things right. She's not going there for a blessing. She's been there even without a blessing. So now when she has a need, she can walk in with confidence. Are you following what I'm saying? Sunday after Sunday, when you come to the presence of God, you are telling God, Lord, I'm not here so I can be blessed. I am here because your presence makes me blessed. Your nearness is our greatness. You are our greatest reward.